The Galaxy Creator is a tool that allows you to create fully procedural volumetric galaxies in Blender. Thanks to its multiple parameters, it is possible to modify the shape, the style and the composition of galaxies by simply tweaking a few values. There are three basic types of galaxies, spiral, pinwheel and ring, each one with its own characteristics and appearance. Today, we are briefly going through the process of how to use this tool, what are its major features and how to set up your Blender project in order to use it. In order to add the Galaxy node in the material graph, press Shift A, go to Groups and select the node that you want to add. We are going to see the pinwheel type for this example. In the first section of each Galaxy node, you will find the parameters that control the structure of the spiral. Spiral harmonic threshold controls the strength of the spiral in the center. The closer this value is to zero, the more folded the spiral will be. When it is zero, the spirals become a, a, a circles near the center. Spiral size controls the strength of spirality in the outer part, while spiral strength controls spirality uniformly across the disk. Spiral exponent is an additional parameter that you can use to modify the shape of the arms, but in most cases it should be set to the value of 1. The next section controls the dimensions of the galaxy. Outer edge parameter controls how wide is the disk, while inner edge controls how far from the center uh, should start a nebula start. I created this parameter because in many galaxies uh, there is a, a sparse zone between the thicker spiral arms and the core. The third section controls the halo of emissive fog ac across the disk and the bulge, which is the central bubble of light. In the fourth paragraph you will find the parameters that control dark clouds. Dark clouds are just that component that does not emit light but absorbs light and so it appears dark. In the final section there are controls for the other components, which are stars, emissive nebulae and star clouds, and at the bottom you have the color section. If you want to use the Galaxy Creator in a new Blender project, you should first append the Galaxy Creator files. Hit Append and navigate to the folder where you have downloaded or saved your Galaxy Creator Blender file. Open it, go to Node 3 and select every file in it. Then click Append. Then delete everything in the scene but the default cube and open a new shader editor window. Then you can add a Galaxy node. In your shader editor, click Shift A to add a new node. Then go to Group and select one of the three Galaxy nodes. Connect the volume output to the output node. The other nodes you see in the folder are just utility nodes used in the main Galaxy blocks. Then scale up the cube. Go in Edit Mode and scale the cube. You can scale it only on the X and Y axis, ignoring the Z axis, in order to get better results and performances. Scale it up to 8 by 8 by 2 meters. Then you can switch the render mode to Cycles. Set Cycles as Rendering Engine and enable GPU Compute. In World Properties, set Background Color Strength to 0. Then go to volume, to volume Settings and set Volume Step Render Rate to 0.2 or lower. Lower values give better results but require more time to render. At this point the setup is completed. You can hit the Render Preview button and now you should be able to see the galaxy in your main viewport.